This is another Thus Said the Lord by Apostle Deanna Dixon. God says that perilous times are coming, famine, slavery. Oh, come on, somebody. Pharaoh is here, and yes, he wants to be king, and he will be king. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's coming. So a lot of you are actually concentrating on FEMA camps, the New World Order. We all, we all know that's coming. But this is the Thus Said the Lord. Have you prepared to be in great power? Oh, come on, somebody. God says through all this that he is going to show himself the all-powerful, the almighty. He said, miracle signs and wonders should they do, Deanna, those that believe. Oh, come on, somebody. If you look through that whole Bible, every time Israel, the children of Israel was attacked, Moses, come on, somebody. That's just one account. That God did miracles, signs, and wonders. He said, but I, I need a ready people. I need a Moses. I need a Joshua. I need a David. I, I need somebody that's going to believe that I, I'm still God and that I still have the power. Hallelujah. But you can't do that unless you draw closer to God. So God said, I'm looking for someone that can carry the power, the supernatural power, Deanna. He said, but they got to be holy. He said, but my people don't want to be holy. My people are weak these days. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, the body of Christ is weak. He said, you are so weak for sex, money. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Oh, you know it's true. And God said, they have not cleansed themselves. They have not consecrated themselves. They have not purified themselves. And yet they want my anointing. He said, not so. Because that anointing, if you're not holy, it'll backlash you. So God said, I'm looking, I'm going to and for right now, looking for people that are positioned and ready. Because I will, I will show myself mighty, he says. Through all of this opposition, through all of this death and it's coming, through turmoil, he said, some shall lay hands on the dead and this shall rise. He said, miracles, signs and wonders should they do in my name and greater. But only those that are ready, God says. This is a time of being preparation. It's the time not just to keep on Facebook and, oh, well, we, we know what's getting ready to happen. Some of y'all are so busy doing research. Y'all don't know this. I kind of backed up because this is the position God told me. God said, I need you to get them ready. I need you to be a warrior before my people. I need you to get them mentally, spiritually, physically ready for the battle. He said, I, I, we're so busy trying to worry about when it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. He said, but, but prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually. Y'all should be fasting and praying like never before. Because when this thing hit, it's going to hit suddenly. And you might have to be the one that speak peace to somebody when they have no peace in their spirit. This ain't no game. And y'all still want to worry about all this other stuff that really don't matter. It's about souls. The heart of God is souls. If you really want to get close to God, you really want to be a woman of God, a man of God, worry about God's people because that's, that's his heart. His, God's people. It's the heart of God. God don't care about what you drive, who like you, who don't, what church you go to. What's in your heart, man of God? What's in your heart, woman of God? Who are you serving? Are you serving God or yourself? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know you don't like it. It's tight, but it's right, but it's real. God's tired of this. Because every time we don't step into the position that God has called us to, somebody dies. Do you understand how this goes? When you don't do what you're supposed to do, a soul dies. When are the welling men and women going to turn back to the altar? Don't worry about how you look. Don't care about your makeup run. Don't care if you're sweaty. When are we going to praise God as if he is God? I'm getting tired of it myself. I can't play with this thing. God's been too good to me. Has he not been good to you? Did he not save you from your mess? Sometimes I find myself, and I'm, I, there's a war sometimes in yourself. And people try to bring something out of you and, you, and then you find out it's gone. I'm really there. Thank you, Jesus. Because you know we didn't do it alone. But thank you, Jesus, for keeping me. They, they, they wanted to see the old person, but she gone. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. God is calling us in position. God is calling us to himself. Purify your hearts. Consecrate yourselves. Be holy, for I am holy. I need you in this hour, God says. I need a pure people. I need a warrior people. I need a people that will be obedient to the law by God. They won't compromise for money, sex, cars, whatever the case, reality shows. And talk about I'm blessed. How are you blessed with all that but you can't lay hands on nobody and heal nobody? Mm. How 
are you blessed when the people come the same and leave the same? How are you blessed, woman and man of God? Stop that foolishness just to say, oh, 5,000 came. And how many left blessed and healed and delivered? Man of God, woman of God. It's time. It's time. If y'all don't see what time it is, them, I, I, I've always been able, since 1996, to see demons clearly. If you do not see what I see, oh, my God. I better get ready and quit playing. You, you know, and people don't like to hear that because the flesh want to feel good. That, that That's about to run out now. Because you see, when God really allow what's getting ready to allow, oh, y'all going to be real good then. And that's sad because something always got to happen. If you look through the Bible, children of Israel always turned on their God. Every chance they got. They want to have fun. They want to do that. But you see when God starts thundering and speaking, oh, God, oh, God, oh, you want to cry God now? What is wrong with this generation? You pray after stuff happens instead of before stuff happens. And then you want to get mad at God when God didn't show you something was coming. Hallelujah to his name. This is the dust said the Lord by Apostle Deanna Dixon. God is looking for some pure people of a pure heart. Because see, men look on the outside. Oh, you girl, you got it going. Oh, man of God, you got it going. I ain't got nothing. That's possessions. They possessed. <laughs> God is looking for some holy men, women of God, that walk in power, talk in power, move in power, and ain't scared of nobody, nothing, no beast, no devil. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, witch, no warlock. You be looking for them when you walk around with you. Where they at? Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So, God bless you. This has been Apostle Deanna Dixon. Have a blessed night. God bless.